Never think of you going up and speaking to someone or meeting a new person as you being a burden, but think, I have worth, I have something to offer them. So I'm doing them a favour, and in return, they'll probably do me a favour as well. What's up people? It is a cold, rainy day in London and I've just left the house. Basically, I wanted to document the evening because I'm on the way to Victoria Station in London. I left a comment on a YouTube video, uh, one of Gary V's videos. Shout out to him, he's awesome. Very motivational guy. Anyway, I left a, a comment on his video about me. It got liked a lot and so it got put at the top of the video. And some guy, I think he's Polish, um, basically read the comment and just said, look man, you sound like a really cool person with a great story. I want to speak with you and maybe network and stuff, right? So you guys are going to come with me and see if he ends up being a bit odd <laughs> or if he just is a nice way of getting to know a new person and maybe doing some sort of collaboration in the future. So I'll see you guys at Victoria. I'm gonna take the train, it's cold. Number one rule of networking is to not be late. And I'm an expert at being late. And I'm about to miss my train which is already a train that will get me there 15 minutes late. I can talk, but I can't be on time, and I'm going to change that this year. That's the train. Shit. Come on, come on, come on. quite a bad stutter, it's still there but it's kind of like manageable um, but it was kind of like I never put myself out there, I was always scared to like answer questions and then I don't know when it was, it was a combination of loads of things, doing drama, doing acting, learning, going to the gym, gaining some confidence, putting myself out there repeatedly, following people online, reading books and then I kind of just began to believe a bit more in myself and then it's still difficult and you still have insecurities like everyone does but it's just I feel much more comfortable to just walk up to any random person and yeah. offer off something which I never used to do. Same, like I was the most shy guy uh, yeah. in my tenement yard. Okay. I'm from Poland, yeah? Yes, yeah. My best friend's from Poland. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's from Poland great, as well. Great. So I was the most shy guy and actually for me, like when I realized that uh, my father was drinking alcohol and he, he killed himself by that, so my mom was working really hard and when I was like maybe 5 or 6 years and when, when I realized that my mother is working 12, sometimes 15 hours per day and still have enough time for me, which was, uh, she made really hard work for us yeah. with me and my sister too. So it took me a few years to realize that I'm really grateful for what he did and what he made because he showed me that he showed me that I shouldn't go that way. He showed me exactly what I should do. Hey guys, so really super interesting guy, super interesting story, really nice. Possibly, you know, just really good to know Dan passed away because of alcohol and like it's been most of his life and all that stuff. 
always pays to have a first conversation. Always pays. The pattern from the video is like 100%, Thank you. which I really love. You know? Thank you. No, no. If it's cold, I'm still shaking because I just, I just love that. This is my passion. Yeah, I, I just love meet people so sharp people like you. Know? They want me to join this company type thing. I don't know yet, but it's been an interesting conversation. Got to know a good person. It's always worth taking that step and talking to someone, whether you know, in the bookstore or the underground or whatever. Saw so some young guy from the last week reading a bunch of really cool books and water stones and went up and spoke to him. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Suleiman. Um, Sahil and I met just over there in the corner. Uh, I think you asked like a fairly innocuous question about where I got um, yeah. a book, 20 Lessons and Tyranny. Uh, yeah. Since then we've been talking more because um, I think not many people come here regularly but uh, we've had the chance to chat and we've uh, spoken to some other people and it's been really interesting for me as well. And I think you can, at a bookstop, you can meet like-minded people. So it's, uh, it's a really good place to be. Good. And, uh, like, follow and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Hi guys. All in all, it was good. Okay, it's basically the whole point of this was not to tell you to go and meet random people who you find on the internet and meet online, although that's basically what all online dating is right now. But instead, it's to tell you that if you're tired of the people that you spend your time with, if you're bored of your same friend group or whatever it is, if you're wanting to meet new people, it doesn't just have to be a watch, go and do it. Especially if you live in a place where there's so many people. Like, just go to a random event that you find on Facebook, go to a bookstore, talk to the person next to you on the train, go to that random movie screening, that random workshop, meet that random person for coffee. If you see someone who's on their own who looks interesting, go and speak. And if the, what's the worst that can happen? The worst thing is they laugh and then walk off and then you just get, get on with your life and that's it. The best thing that can happen is you can end up meeting a friend that you have for life or that you have some awesome times with. And that's what we want. Life's too short to not say hi to that person because you never know when it will end and you never know when that person will be there and you never, might never come across that person again. So, if you want to find more people, and if you want to meet more cool people, just do it. That sounds like a black yard, but anyway, <laughs> just do it, that's the way. Don't be scared, there's something to be scared of, but all people, and we all want to meet cool people, and so if you're nice and open, people will reciprocate that, and you will never know what might be. We are And to help with your confidence, just always keep in mind that you have the power to make your life better. The worst thing to think is what if I had spoken to that person and they'd been awesome and we had the best time and might have ended up going through those that would be the worst thing. So why not just take a risk? Actually stretch that, it's not even a Risk. So just do it because you're not missing you. Like, that's my train, I'm gonna go and see you That's all people, whether their person's old, whether they're young, whoever they are, talk to them. Um, my train's about to go again, and I'm late again, so I'll catch you next time. See you later. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed coming around with me for the evening to so just sum up for you guys on some tips for meeting new people the first thing is that to actually find people it's extremely easy you know meetup.com going to any gym any workshop finding an event online and making the effort to go you know taking any form of public transport ever I mean the world is such a small place now that there are so many ways to actually find people now the difficult part is is kind of stopping that tendency we all have to sleepwalk th through life and kind of be in our own heads and our own thoughts and never look up to actually really look and really see the people around us and to think what they might want and then the even more difficult part which is scary for a lot of people it's been scary for me for a long long time and that's to actually understand that because you're extremely unique you have something to 
offer that person. You don't need to be scared of what they think. You don't need to be worried about how you'll come across. Instead, you just have to be, be of the mindset, what's the worst that could happen? And what are the things that they might want? They might just want a smile. They might just want some words of encouragement. They might be looking for someone to speak to. They might want a new business connection. And for all those things, whatever it might be, you have to understand that you don't need to be the most famous, rich, or best looking person to give that t to them. Never think of you going up and speaking to someone or meeting a new person as you being a burden, but think, I have worth, I have something to offer them. So I'm doing them a favor, and in return, they'll probably do me a favor as well. And I've seen amazing things, I mean, just in this video, you saw a young man and an old lady speaking and having a great conversation because one of them just took the first step and the potential for that is incredible and it can make you feel awesome and it can make you upgrade your peer group in that you know self-help jargon way where if you are dissatisfied with your friends or you think that you want other types of people in your, your life it's easier than you think no matter how old you are no matter how young you are People are looking for people, um, and it's one of the basic things of who we are. We're social creatures, and so because you have empathy, because you can think what someone else might think and feel, that puts you in a powerful p position to realize that you can give them that. So that's the mindset to have, and once you have that mindset, the whole meeting people, really insecure, sh juggle type thing will just go from being this painful painful process of not wanting to put yourself out there to just being this game where you can never win and never get the maximum points because there are just that many people in the world that you'll never be able to get around all the awesome cool people there are to meet so even if you're introverted extroverted those things don't m matter your mind is an extremely malleable thing and just because you were the person who was really nervous and insecure yesterday doesn't mean that's who you were born as or who you're destined to be so just literally flick that switch and just say right today I'm gonna to be that person who just meets everyone and if you do it you might not want to be that person your whole life but just by being that person for the day it proves to you that you don't have to be scared anymore of going up and talking to someone who you would never otherwise speak to. So that's me done guys. I'm gonna be doing more of this, more speaking to the camera, more coming around with me for the day, imparting any interesting things we get up to. I've also got some stuff from Asia, which is me setting myself a challenge to basically meet as many people as I could on the streets of Thailand in 15 minutes I think and I got up to some interesting stuff there with some old men who spoke different languages scratching my back because I just switched that flicked that switch and was like right even though these people don't speak the same language we're gonna go and speak to them and it was awesome and I met some really interesting people who okay I'm not still in contact with them now but I could have if I wanted to and I had some good times with them back there so Anyway, that's to come, lots more to come, keep tuned, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks guys, bye.